Moin, this is Timo Buske and you're watching the photo tutorials. Today is Natural Lit Portrait Part 3. So, first thing I want to do is rotate and crop the image. Um, I want to have the, eye, the eyes in one level, so I'm going to rotate a bit counterclockwise and I'm going to crop the image. Um, don't ask me why, but I'm, I want to go for a square format now. Um, and really get close to the model. This is a bit tweaking until you get the desired result. But this is much better than before. So, um, now comes my standard workflow. Desaturate completely and care about the light. So, um, I want to decrease the contrast a bit. Just around the half. And add a little brightness so we can add a massive vignette here. I think we can go for maximum. Yeah, that's much better and now we can see uh, much more gradient here on the face. So, uh, next thing we want to do is um, bring back some highlights here because uh, I think this is almost white here around the nose. So just a little highlight recovery with a high, uh, HDR tool. Not too much because if you do this it's extremely unnatural. And I want to optimize the levels by bringing back the whites. This looks pretty good. Um, now we can care about the sharpness. Again, standard workflow. Mm, radius to minimum, amount to maximum. And slowly increase radius. And if we are okay with the radius, then we can lower the amount until we have the right sharpness. This can be pretty high in this case. I think we even can uh, add a little structure to make it more sharp. Awesome. This is good. So, um, okay, now we can add some tweaks to make it a bit less boring. Um, First of all, I want to tweak the eyes. I'm adding a local adjustment layer and masking the eyes. And I'm going to increase, I'm going to bring up the exposure a bit in this area and the contrast. You have to be really careful not to overdo it. And um, now I wanna um, put a little gradient on the face. I'm creating another adjustment layer for this and draw a mask. And I'm going to lower the brightness in this area. I think this is not sufficient, so I'm going to additionally lower the exposure a bit. Awesome. This really looks good. And what you can see here, if you look at the um, small thumbnail up here, if I'm uh, turning the last layer on and, on and off, that um, when I'm painting, uh, grading on the edges of the face, um, and lowering the exposure and then you have the feeling that the face gets thinner. So let's do the before-after comparison. Before, after. Looks amazing. That's it. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.